Her news anchor, Christina Pascucci, left her job here at Fox 11 and launched a campaign for U.S. Senate. This past Friday, amid a migrant surge, Pascucci traveled to the U.S.-Mexico border between San Diego and Tijuana, where migrants have been congregating for months. Fresh off that border trip, U.S. Senate candidate Christina Pascucci joins me live with more. Christina, great to see you. Hi, Alex. Good to be with you. Thanks for having me. So what would you see at the border? Chaos. It was it was absolutely crazy. I uh, I was very privileged to be able to speak directly to a lot of the migrants who were coming here for a better life, as you see in some of that video right there. Uh, there is some very harrowing stories. One woman from Colombia who had been kidnapped by the cartel held for a month with her two small children. She was only able to escape when her father-in-law was killed. And it was so hard to hear those stories. Met a lot with children as well in different shelters on the Mexico side. And I think it's clear that our immigration policies are not working. They're not working for America to keep Americans safe, and they're not working for these people who are coming here for a better life to keep them safe. So what are the most reasonable things that you could actually accomplish as a member of the U.S. Senate when it comes to immigration reform? Well, first, there has to be the political will. And when you have a lot of people who are saying, uh, you know, Congress members right now who are in office who are saying that there's not a problem at the border, that in of itself is a huge problem. We need to address this with urgency. Uh, one thing that we need to do is speed up the asylum process for people who are coming here. Right now what happens is illegal immigration is almost encouraged. So you have these migrants who are coming to our border illegally and then they're allowed in their process within a few days. They're given a court date, but the issue there is that court date is often years away. So in the meantime, they're allowed to come in the U.S., but they're not allowed to get a work permit. So that makes life for them very difficult. They'll get other things from the government. But, um, you know, it's, it's very clear that we need more resources at the border for Border Patrol. We need judges who are able to expedite the process uh, of the asylum seekers. And it doesn't just stop there. We have to get to the first and second steps of migration that start long before people end up at our southern border. So uh, if you're in there and there's a lot of Democrats that frankly disagree with you and you're a member of the Democratic caucus, how do you change their mind? I would encourage them to come down and take a trip and see for themselves. I mean, you can't unsee what you see once you go and, and see everything firsthand. It's very clear there's a problem. Uh, our border is really bad. I've been speaking to San Diego County officials who say they've had tens of thousands of uh, immigrants coming in just in the last six weeks. And in Texas, it's even worse. And we've seen a lot of coverage around that. Uh, one thing that I think is really important that often gets overlooked, Alex, is going to, like I said, the first and second steps of migration. My team's been doing a lot of research around the crisis at the Panama-Colombia border. They have migrants there that are trying to go through. There's this Darien jungle. It's extremely dangerous to move through. In 10 years, they only had 100,000 people try to approach that. Now, because of what's happening and, and the human mobility that we're seeing and people fleeing from certain countries, there were 500,000 migrants who wow. tried coming through that Darien jungle just so far this year. Wow. So what we need to do is work with host communities. Barranquilla, Colombia, they've taken in about 100,000 um, or 150,000 migrants. That's 10% of their population. We need to work with them to help them have migrants integrating into their community, give them the resources they need. It doesn't start at our southern border. It, it starts long before that. Christina Pascucci, Senate candidate, want to show some good news for you recently. Uh, there was a Survey USA poll that uh, just came out. Uh, it shows Adam Schiff uh, in the lead, um, sort of a three-way tie for second with Steve Garvey, Barbara Lee, and Katie Porter. And as we go on to the second page, we can see that Christina is moving up uh, when it comes to the polls, close to that fifth spot with Eric Early, James Bradley, and Christina, uh, who just entered the race a couple months ago, started at 1%, now at 5%, climbing in the polls. Congratulations, Christina, on the progress on that, um, and uh, great to see you. Thank you.